I don't know how any of you guys are going and going and going. I know you gotta be at the same level of mental health as me. Every day it's something new between the fucking news and the fucking stupid Biden and stupid Trump. And this this country's fucked. Every day we're spending more and more money. None of us are getting ahead. The rich people are the ones that are fucking getting ahead. I'm tired of struggling. I've done everything I can. I'm trying to be a good man. I take care of my daughter. I take care of my wife. (laughs) The best I can. I can't keep going. Every day it's something new. Then on top of that. As if you're not trying to spend money, you have to. Fucking everything's expensive. I own a painting company, I still can't fucking make it. I'm fucking trying, man. I can't look at my daughter and my wife and know I'm feeling. I'm fucking <laughs> Everybody wake up. It's time to stand up. It's time to be tired of this. It's our turn to fucking eat. I want to eat. I want my family to eat. I want you guys to eat. Stand up. Let's go. Stand up, man. Let's fucking eat. I'm tired. Let's help each other. I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't care what fucking color you are. If you are not eating and you're struggling, eat with me. Let's struggle together then. Let's be a team. All right, man, stumbled on this video. Shout out to him. The guy was being vulnerable. You know, there's a lot of people going through a similar situation that he's going through. And, you know, obviously it's not the best time in America right now, guys. Um, You know, there's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of degenerate behavior a lot of degeneracy and and, uh moral corruption that's uh been plaguing the society man and it's just uh you know we kind of just have to sit there and accept it because we're under military control uh there's a lot of censorship going on that's a big one people are getting censored left and right you can't speak your mind you can't say certain things nowadays you know there's divisions at an all-time high um and it's it's a total state of lunacy man and you know uh, the guys just expressing the frustration a lot of people have vented inside of them a lot of people are you know frustrated and kind of confused and it's just uh it's it's crazy man you know uh even now nowadays people pass by each other they don't say hi to each other they don't spark up a conversation they're just kind of to themselves they're pro this anti that pro this anti that you know um and it's all a method to divide and conquer everybody and i want to emphasize the last part of his his whole spill man which was you know he said we have to stand up and fight these people man but how are we going to do that if everybody's to themselves everybody's divided everybody's divided on the basis of skin color on the basis of uh religion on the basis of uh you know uh anything really people are fucking divided over the dumbest shit man you know how are people supposed to how are strong men supposed to come together and stand up to these people man because they i mean look i was listening to that the department of treasury that janet yelling chick and the, and the guy that was speaking to i forgot what his name was but he pretty much talked her into exposing herself that they're pretty much like borrowing money at a higher interest rate than what they can borrow under 
to make it seem like and, and they're printing out a shitload of money to make it seem like the economy is not in collapsing and that we're kind of in, in a we're sufficient until the election come come november and then after that who knows what the hell is going to happen you got countries like saudi arabia not renewing the petrodollar contract i mean it's it's just there's a lot of shit man and you know it, it it might all crash who knows you know we don't know what people are gonna do i mean uh so motherfuckers gotta stick together man um you gotta find a, a group of solid guys to have around you um and start mingling with other people because a lot of people think the same even though there's so people are so divided a lot of people can see what's going on and they think the same you know so um if if you gotta start you know reaching out man you gotta start uh mingling with other folks you know and that's the only way that you know we could fight this shit and i'm talking about you know regular old deglers man middle class upper middle class guys like it, it is what it is there's no way of getting around this and and you know who knows what the fuck they're gonna do you know maybe five months down the line that people are getting drafted to go fight in china like and this could all happen in less you know in less than five months who knows we don't know what the fuck they got planned right all we know is that it's looking real bad right I'm, obviously we're not in gaza right now you know what i mean like god bless those kids and the people that are going through what they're going through there but you know um it's still it's still you know the worst that america's been as far as division polarization um economic future outlook you know uh people are saying the american empire is done within the next five years it's we're gonna be in shambles <clears throat> so motherfuckers gotta like get together man and and start fighting back you know um like i said man I, i'm not saying like you know obviously where we're under a, a full military control and uh you know i'm not talking about doing a whole revolution and start launching missiles and shit i'm, I'm just saying that the louder we get uh the more people the more representatives we have that speak for the people you know and everyone's relying on trump nowadays who the fuck knows what's gonna happen to trump they might assassinate him tomorrow who knows you know so uh yeah people got to get on code man because you know as much as the american government has just been a fucking mess and and just a thug murderous scam regime right the the america the vast majority of american people aren't representative of the people in charge okay so and i'm every trust me everybody around the world knows that shit you know when they talk about death to america and death to you know they're really just saying they're talking about the government right the people running america it's not about the people it's not about the culture it's it's the people in charge who are sabotaging america and dragging it into situations and finessing it right manipulating it you know to make it look like it's it's this evil regime you know and it's not representative of the people okay so uh shout out to this guy uh yeah man let's get on cope